he was uh, guiding and arranging the, this event here every year, so many years now. He was like a father, I felt like fa so kind and uh, very much uh, dedicated to Silla Prabhupada. He had so much love to Silla Prabhupada. So I was not present when he left here in Rindavan. Um, so, but I'm missing him. I want to say this. Uh, and this uh, auspicious day today on Silviasi Puja, Silla Prabhupada. So I wrote an offering. Because it told us that we should <laughs> always uh, write something. So. <clears throat> Dear Silla Prabhupada, please accept my most humble obeisances at your golden, shining lotus feet. Uh, sent by the two lords, Goranga and Nitananda, you came to this, uh, you came to broadcast the divine light of mercy, to dissipate the darkness of ignorance of this world. They are like the sun and moon, but as an ignorant one, one cannot see or perceive the light the two brothers shed all over the world. Krishna, the Absolute Truth, is only available through Prema Bhakti in the form of Nama Sankirtan. Uh, this process is revealed through the two Bhagavata, Bhagavatas sent, sent by the two brothers, the book and the person. Through their faithful eternal, uh, through their faithful eternal associate, they expand the light of their mercy together with the Bhagavata book. Only with the light of the Bhagavad devotee. The Bhagavatam reveals. This Bhagavad Mark is so beautifully revealed through you so that uncountable fallen souls receive a clear understanding of the Bhakti Mark without compromise and cheating tendency or personal agenda. Your selfless desire to save the fallen souls and your love to them is unique. Without you, where would I be now? Therefore, out of thankfulness, I would always like to serve you uh, life after life. And in this life, let me serve you in spreading the glories of Goranga Nityananda Ram and your divine grace. The service to your lotus feet, to your Vani, to the Sankhita mission, to your devotees and followers is the only meaning and place in life, even here in Vrindavan. What, what could we do if you would not give us some hum humble service here? Remaining ever thankful to you, your eternal servant, Rohini Sutta Dance. Sutta, by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, was one of the biggest book distributors in Europe, in Switzerland, Germany, and helped pioneering and spreading Krishna consciousness by going out and distributing books under all austere conditions of life. Mother Kusha, heard it? Yes. After Mother Kusha, Yes, with Grace Gopal Prabhu, and then also David Prabhu. Pancha Kulpa Tarubhyas Chakripa Sindhu Bhai Pacha. Patitanam Pavnivyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha. 
I'm expecting Parvati to call. She's not here, so I'm sure she wants to make an offering. And Mahadevi, she's here. Also, I wanted to say something about Brahmananda, how we miss him. He was here last year and the year before, and the year before, and the servant of ceremonies, our MC, and always a professor teaching us about Srila Prabhupada, love of Prabhupada. And from that, <laughs> Prabhupada saw that we disciples, there, he says there's two aspects. There's the personal aspect of the guru, and then there's his instructions, Bopu and Bani. And we were very attached to Srila Prabhupada's person, and he was always telling us, you should be so attached to my instructions. But even, he was a great pioneer who came to the world of a kind of class. A kind of class are deity bashers. The Christian Judaic world is a world that bashes deities. And Prabhupada came to that world as a pioneer. Never before had it been done in the history of mankind that a person, a pioneer from Galog, came to establish deity worship in the land of echinoclasts. Even in Srila Prabhupada's manifest Leela, because he saw how attached we were to his person, he established the deity worship of Guru. This is very, very special. Great mercy. And I implore all of you to take this up for as they, we were hearing recently for the next 10,000 years, just as King Vajranaba, the great grandson of Krishna, established deity worship of Krishna, so this fourth generation, great grandchildren, Prabhupada said the third generation, many pure devotees would come, come out. And he said, the demigods are lining up to take birth in this movement. So just following in the footsteps of King Vajranaba, I implore the generations to, to come, to continue worshiping Srila Prabhupada as a Senapati Bhakta, the pioneer of Krishna consciousness, who set up the worship, the personal worship of Lord Sri Krishna in the face of the deity bashers. Please, this is special. I implore you, all generations to come, do not let this go. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mother Krishna. And not that he's doing wonderful service here, helping community services center and many other aspects. I'd like to ask Grace Gopal for food. So as per uh, Brahmananda Prabhu's instructions and also today uh, Panchagoda Prabhu's, uh, we'll try to divert from I and me uh, in my discussion about Srila Prabhupada. Although uh, when one has uh, the opportunity to have so many uh, personal uh, uh, 
associations with Srila Prabhupada and selected to do specific missions, uh, I and me uh, is, is there. Uh, so I'd like to talk uh, a little bit about uh, some important uh, vernacular or vocabulary words uh, that should be uh, always kept very close to one's heart and uh, being a Vaishnava. Uh, the first is uh, gratitude. As we have learned from reading Srila Prabhupada's books, uh, that uh, we are eternal and uh, we have been passing through uh, birth after birth after birth. Bhavanam Janmanam Ante Gyananam Ajate Vasudevam Sarvamiti Sammahatma Sulandarab. So after many births, uh, we cannot, it's innumerable, uncountable, we cannot even imagine. Uh, we were uh, fortunate enough to uh, come in contact with uh, Srila Prabhupada in his physical presence or now through his mission and what we are receiving is a debt that we must in some way uh, try to repay uh, for this, this grand knowledge. Just as Srila Prabhupada uh, was so uh, grateful for uh, meeting his Divine Grace Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj and uh, taking to heart his instructions that this uh, Krishna Consciousness Movement uh, must be uh, taken out of India and spread just as Lord Chaitanya predicted to every town and village. So, Prabhupada, to fulfill this and to show his gratefulness, uh, left India. And these last few months, uh, so many uh, auspicious celebrations have taken place. The day that he boarded the Jaladuta and his arrival in uh, Boston Harbor, and uh, eventually, uh, 21st Second Avenue, uh, Prabhupada would preach, and at that time, a motley crew of uh, ragamuffin hippies and uh, derelicts would come and uh, Srila Prabhupada uh, was determined, this is another word in Vaishnav uh, vocabulary, his determination was so strong that amongst all of these, uh, there will be one that will uh, take uh, seriously what I, uh, I am preaching. And he continued in this way, and gradually those that were unqualified in this life to uh, accept what Prabhupada taught, uh, they left, and those that were uh, serious, they remained. And the uh, implements of his, uh, at his disposal at that time for spreading this movement were very limited. Uh, 
we didn't have madrangas. Uh, cartels, we had cartels. And the uh, only book that was available was the book that Srila Prabhupada had printed in India and brought uh, to America. But uh, from that, he began his mission, uh, and his mission was to uh, make this science available to every individual in the entire world, not limited to a certain class or caste or creed of human